And because pigeons like to feed off of the ground, we'll see over time if they're eating the product or not. The plan is pretty simple. Mix a birth control drug into some corn and feed it to the pigeons living around the VCC Clark SkyTrain station. It's a reversible drug called OvoControl that needs to be fed to the birds daily to work. TransLink and the BCSBCA say it's a humane way to reduce the pigeon population. But not everyone is on board with the idea. I think that's a bit too radical. Pigeons could be an issue, but that doesn't mean we have to sterilize them. That's a better way than just killing them, no. Eventually there will be less of them and, and there's been no deaths. TransLink's pigeon problem goes back years. The Poop Sully SkyTrain platforms, they trigger intrusion alarms, causing trains to automatically break and can lead to delays. The Transit Authority has been using netting, spikes, electric shocks and falcons to try to deal with the issue, but people are part of the problem too. We'd like to tell our customers we would really like it if they could stop feeding birds near our stations. We do see that on occasion. It isn't good for the pigeons. The birth control plan is just a pilot. The Transit Authority and BCSBCA are going to track the results. We're going to keep an eye out, come a couple times a day to see if they're feeding. We also know that if the bait's still on the ground, they're not eating it. So we can put it to another location, maybe on the rooftop if we need to. TransLink says if the birth control is successful in reducing the pigeon population around the VCC Clark station, there are several other stations where the birds have been a problem. So the birth control program might soon grow. Rafferty Baker, CBC News, Vancouver.